What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we have the October BoxyCharm. This is a great box this month. It is chock full of really fun, really great products. I loved everything in here. That's a first, I think, in a while that I loved every single thing I got in this box. I would love to know if you subscribe to BoxyCharm and what you got in your box this month, so definitely comment below and let me know if you got anything different than what I got. I know there are tons of variations out there. BoxyCharm is a $25 a month subscription service, and let me tell you, this box was well over $25, well over $150, so check out the end to see how much this box actually was worth with all the products inside. If you want to know how I got this look using most of the products in this box, then just keep on watching. All right, let's go ahead and get into this box. It's actually kind of heavy. I didn't even realize I just kind of tossed it on the table and I'm like, oh. <laughs> so bare face because we have a moisturizer. We never get moisturizers. I'm super excited about it. The Grow Alchemist, Grown Alchemist, excuse me, Matte Balancing Moisturizer, Acai Berry, Barago, a lightweight moisturizer that hydrates facial skin while balancing the skin's oil levels, leaving skin with a matte finish and increased clarity. $69. Does it smell Oh, it's like super bougie. It's in like a, almost like that metal tube, you know? I don't know why that's super bougie, but I think it is. It's like, seems very high end. I have to do a little research. I don't really know too much about it. Other than what it tells me on the packaging, which is that it is Australian certified, toxic free. It is an Australian brand, I think. Yeah, made in Australia. Uh, certified cruelty free, product is vegan and gluten free. So it's 2.02 ounces, 60 milliliters. It's a decent size moisturizer. I mean, for $69. Oh. All right, so it's got one of those little kind of metal things where you've got the pointy part in the cap and you've got a puncture to open it. Oh, these turtlenecks always like a black, a black turtleneck makes me think of um, The Rock, like that old, uh, that old photo that he posts a lot that's like him in a black turtleneck, but I think his is long sleeve. I don't know why it makes me think of that. That didn't help, did it? All right, so there's one thing in here that I probably should have gone over first. It's the Murad, God, this is enormous. Look how, like, we get a huge. So this is the Murad Hydration Exfoliating Cleanser. This retails for 40 bucks. This multitasking cleansing exfoliant is an ideal addition to your cleansing regimen. Two to three times a week, chemical and physical exfoliation helps clear dull, dry skin and improves penetration of treatment ingredients that follow. It also helps optimize skin's ability to attract and hold moisture. I love a good exfoliator. Like I, I probably exfoliate maybe two times a week in the shower and right now I use a Dr. Brandt one, but I've never tried anything from Murad, so I'm super excited to throw this in the shower and use it. This is really nice to get in the box and this is just like a huge bottle. This is uh, 6.75 ounces, so. Next product in the box is the Hip Dot Color Changing Sponge Duo. So we've got a little bag, a little drawstring bag here, which is actually super cute. So you get two sponges, you get a face one and a more detailed like under eye sponge. Enjoy an amazing color changing sponge. Watch it expand to twice its size when wet. It increases, it creates durable, wow, what? It creates buildable makeup application with minimum product waste. So this retails for $18. All right, so I'm gonna go wet these sponges so we can use them on our face. I'll be right back. All right, these got decently big. I'm, I'm pretty pumped about it. These are super soft, like really, really squishy, almost velvet feeling, except not, I don't know if, you have the, if you've tried the Juno & Co sponge, which actually does look and feel very velvety. This is very similar without having like the raised um, material on it. Ooh, it's just like so soft on your skin. It's like putting like a soft blanket <laughs> or a little pillow. I guess pillow would be a better comparison. Wow, look how much, I mean, I love the color too. I love the blue, but we all know it doesn't really matter because it's gonna be brown or whatever shade your foundation is. It seems to not like soak up a ton, but it looks like it does on the sponge. Let's try the little baby one, even though I know it's gonna be exactly the same. Just... I don't know if I like how little this is. 
I just feel like it's gonna, like I kind of enjoy using a bigger sponge under my eye just because I feel like I get more coverage. But dang. But it's great. This little one's great for getting like right in that corner and right up under the, the eye. I'm just gonna use this to like blend a little. I swear this clip does not like me. Next thing in the box is the Pretty Vulgar Nesting Bitch Face Palette. So we have lots of bronzer, highlight, and blush shades in here, which I'm super excited about. So let's go ahead and dive into this. Uh, definition, Nesting Bitch Face is a noun. <laughs> when you've had resting bitch face since birth. Nesting Bitch Face. So you've got two really pretty blush shades. One does have a little bit of shimmer in it. You have two... Well, this, this might be like a shimmer bronzer, but, or a highlight for darker skin, and then a highlight for lighter skin, and then you have two bronzer shades. It retails for $32. Nesting Bitch Face Palette offers a beautiful selection of rosy blushes, sun-kissed bronzers, and creamy, glowy highlights. These must-have buildable shades deliver great color payoff and blend out like a dream. They're developed for a wide range of skin tones and perfect for contouring your face. All right, let's go ahead in with some bronzer. Son of a Bee is a little bit more gray, so I think I'm gonna go in with Sun Kissed Snitch. I like that. Yes, uh, so I'm gonna go into Hush Blush. If you like, said like Hush Bitch, I don't know. So this mauve pink here oh that's really pretty we have glimmer of bs and ego i think i'm gonna do a little mixture of both because the ego is actually not that dark but it is a little more coppery looking so we'll just do a little of both of those They definitely both seem a little drier than the uh, blush and bronzer. I'm actually going to use this and do a little eyeshadow, just something light. I'm going to go into Son of a Bee right here. Alright, I'm going to take uh, Ego on the lid. I forgot there's a mirror on this. Right. Ooh. And then I'm going to take a glimmer of BS and just pop it on the... Mm, I don't think that did anything whatsoever. Alright, I'm going to finish up my eyes really quick and then we have one last product. The last thing in the box is a Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Kiss Tinted Lip Butter in Keep It Rio. Super cute. I have never tried their lip butters. It smells so good. I don't know. I mean, I guess it's a color, but uh, I can't really tell. It just, it's a nice sheer color if it is. <laughs> Okay, well this doesn't have a shit, a color because I just put it on my hand right here and it's just glossy. So, it is just, I guess, a lip butter. But it tastes really good. And it's soft and this is definitely going in my purse. All right guys, so that was everything in my box. We got one, two, three, four, five full size items in the box this month. Let me do some math. All right, so this month's box was $179. I think that's probably the most expensive box I've gotten in a little while. So that was really cool because the box is $25 normally. You know what? This was actually a really great box. I liked everything. I will try the mirror out. I can't say 100% that I like it, but I'm definitely going to try it. And I'm really excited. I mean, I'm just happy that we get something like this big, this large in the box. Like, what other like beauty subscription service for $25 is going to give you a $40 like huge product like this like sometimes you'll get something that's like $89 and you're like great but it's tiny please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel before you leave i hope you guys are happy i hope you're well and i hope you're having a good one i'll see you guys next time bye